if we as people express love to one another, that's human love, and God in his composite and being also has the capacity for great love, in fact, far greater love than what we're capable of. And that love has a different quality. It is a part of God. It has a divine quality to it. And it is an energy which is available to every one of us to receive if we so desire it. If we open ourselves to divine love, then that energy, that blessing comes into us. It infills our souls because our souls are that part of us which reflects God and has the capacity to receive this divine love. I'm so aware of the limitations of our language and also um, gender use of language. You know, I think traditionally we've talked of Heavenly Father, um, but in my view of the world, I'd like to emphasize that to me, God is the great spirit, um, the creator, um, the universal source of all love. There are many different names to describe God and divine love. And um, in, this, in these times, um, I'm hesitant to have gender kind of language to describe our Creator, the Great Spirit. And I don't think our Creator, God, the Source, has any attachment to what we call God. God is God. God is the I Am. God is who God is. So whatever is comfortable for the individual is absolutely fine. Uh, there is no requirement to label God in any way that isn't uh, comfortable for the individual. And so really it's not about our minds and the limits of language, it's more about our souls, about the very core of our beings, the depth of who we really are, and uh, the the connection, the rapport that we can have from that deep place within us that transcends our minds um, to have a real relationship with our Creator. Yes, I agree. It's, it's all about the uh, individual and the individual experience with God, and that is what our key message is that every individual has the potential and the opportunity to have a deep and profound experience with God. Because God, in his or her or its um, being, being <laughs> existence, uh, has a great desire to connect with you. And it requires you to uh, have a desire to connect with God and to make uh, certain efforts in prayer and in listening, prayer and meditation, in order to make that a conscious reality within your experience.